If you want the most out of ChatGPT, here is a little hack on how to use AI to get better data analysis. All right, let's take a look. If you're new here, let me tell you what this is. My name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping everyday people grow their companies and grow their careers by learning and leveraging generative AI. So please like this channel, subscribe, leave me a comment, but also go to youreverydayai.com and sign up for that free daily newsletter. All right, so let's do a quick little test here, shall we? All right, so one thing that people don't really fully realize is there's different modes within the multimodal default mode of ChatGPT. And sometimes, unless you make a call to ChatGPT, it might decide on its own whether it just uses its default GPT-4 turbo mode or if it uses one of these specialized modes. Uh, I'm gonna try to give you an example. Also, keep in mind, uh, ChatGPT, is a generative AI model. You can do the same thing 100 times, you can get the 99 times the same, you can get 50 and 50, you can get 33, 33, 33. It's generative, right? Uh, but we've done enough testing of this to know that this is true. All right, so let's just do a quick example. I'm gonna say, please analyze this document and give me five advanced findings, okay? Pretty simple, and here's what I'm doing. I'm actually doing this intentionally, um, uploading a PDF, okay? So here's what the PDF is. It is essentially just a long list of data from Google Search Console. So, you know, not the biggest, but a couple thousand uh, data points. All right, so what I'm trying to show you here is I'm just going into the default mode and all I said is please analyze this document and give me five advanced findings. All right, so we're gonna give it a minute here and we'll see, but what is likely going to happen is ChatGPT is probably going to be using something called vision mode. So it just looks, right? It just looks at the document and now it gave me five advanced findings. You know, not bad, right? All right, well, let's do it again by doing what's called a call. All right, so you need to call to a mode uh, sometimes to force ChatGPT to use it. Uh, you used to have to do this a lot in plugins mode. Uh, ChatGPT would sometimes know to use a plugins. Uh, unfortunately, plugins are on their way out, uh, but sometimes you'd have to make a very direct call and it didn't always follow directions. So let's, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna toggle between the two. So this one, I'm gonna go ahead and name this. I'm gonna say five findings default, okay? because that was just the default mode. I didn't call on a mode. All right, so now I'm gonna do the same thing. And I'm gonna say using the advanced data analysis mode, please analyze this document and give me five advanced findings, all right? So the only thing that we changed here is we added this call. So we are calling on GPT or ChatGPT to use the data analysis mode. All right, now let's do the exact same thing. And presumably, we're gonna get some different findings here. All right, so let's give it a second. We'll see if uh, if uh, it's gonna pop up any Python code. Normally it will, but it doesn't always. So let's give it a quick side-by-side -side and see how the results differ. All right, so, so far, it's interesting. It's uh, it looks like it's taking it in chunks here. There we go. So now, there we go. So now we are getting this Python code. So you can already see the difference, right? Um, this, it used to happen a lot more frequently in spreadsheets as well. You would get uh, something very different. Uh, newest, newer versions of uh, ChatGPT, uh, when you upload a spreadsheet, it usually just kicks into uh, advanced data analysis mode. But uh, for that reason, I specifically just shared a PDF because I'm guessing uh, that ChatGPT was gonna just try to use vision mode and just to see and visually understand what this document is because it's a PDF, right? Um, but it's you, all, you will also get this a little bit in, um, by uploading uh, spreadsheets as well, or, uh, you know, so .xls, uh, you know, .csvs, uh, et cetera. So now we are going to get much more advanced output, right? Much more advanced findings. You know, when we're asking for, uh, please analyze this document and give me five advanced findings, uh, the one uh, 
the default version was not that good, right? Uh, so we're gonna compare them uh, side by side here in a minute once it's done, but you can already see. So it's it's running all of this Python code um, and you can already tell it's, it's, it's starting to make connections uh, between the data. Uh, the data is not super difficult. Uh, one thing I was seeing if it could pick up on is doing this comparison, right? Between looking at the last 28 days, previous 28 days, and then looking at, as an example, the impressions difference and the clicks difference. So uh, that's something normally, you, you, not saying you'd have to be a data analyst to, to understand that, uh, but you know, at least basics, right? You would hope that a, a sheet like this uh, with, with data rows like that, you know, the majority of these data rows are, are set up to show a difference, right? Um, and that's why you have both both last 28, previous 28, et cetera. All right, so without diving uh, too deep into that, it looks like we got an error, uh, which it's it says there's a syntax error in the code. So now it's it's resolving it, right? That's another good thing. Uh, ChatGPT Plus does pretty pretty well. Um, does does a good job at kind of resolving uh, errors when there are errors. It looks like there was a syntax error uh, in line sixty four. I know we're getting a little technical uh, for our everyday people out here, but um, you can kind of already see. I was hoping just to let this one uh, ride out. It looks like there's a. Uh, it's 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 going to keep keep correcting and keep correcting the error, right? Uh, eventually, it's going to get there. Uh, this is maybe I should have uploaded a simpler set of data. It's not crazy data. There's only a couple thousand, um, eh, maybe maybe more than that. Yeah, maybe there's I don't, I don't know four to five thousand uh, data points on here. So not a terribly difficult uh, spreadsheet, but it is again think. It's, it's not sorting this as a spreadsheet. It's looking at this as a PDF. So it's having to run a lot of uh, data analysis and a lot of uh, Python on the back end to be able to interpret all of this data, which is why it's, you know, I wanted to give it something a little tricky. Uh, so it looks like it's gonna keep, uh, we're gonna get some errors. I did just run it beforehand, but you already saw the point. So let me just go ahead. We'll, we'll still give this a minute here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and jump over all right, I'm just opening a new tab here. So here's our default mode, right? Uh, our other mode is still running, but here's here's what it gets when it's when it's done, right? I, I did run this just before, just to confirm. Um, we'll see if it's done by the end of the video. But I mean, look at the differences in what it's found, right? Our five find our five findings, our five advanced findings by just using the default mode or not knowing how to use it, you don't get a lot here, right? It's it's more or less telling you the five findings of here's what this um, here's what this spreadsheet shows, right? It's not actual data analysis, all right? But if we look at the advanced, when we use the advanced data analysis mode, uh, we're getting a much greater breakdown, uh, not just of uh, what's actually in the spreadsheet, uh, but I mean, you can go up here uh, and, and look at the, um, and look at the Python code, it's actually going through and it's giving us the ability to actually analyze that data. So that is the biggest uh, that is the biggest difference there, uh, kind of between the different modes. All right. So I hope this was helpful. And if so, please go to your everydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter. Hey, long story short here, y'all, you gotta know, you gotta know how to use chat GPT. You have to call to the modes. Uh, sometimes chat GPT knows, sometimes it doesn't, uh, give it a try. Let me know how it works for you. And we'll see you back for another AI five. Thanks y'all.